hi again guys just gonna do another video I just posted a video on Troy Point rapid app installer that's one method it's very easy and it's got some good movie apps so feel free to use that one here's a different method using downloader on Android box yes just like fire stick you can put it on Android box and now instead of using file linked you will put in a code number and that will get you the same thing file link did so let's go to the browser this time type in troypoint.com slash DL for downloader and thanks to Troy Point for all the help that he can give to everybody by let him use his information so you're gonna type that in the browser and hit go and it's going to install it at the bottom it's going to say open yes we're going to open it and now we're going to install downloader but we already have the Troy Point app rapid app installer you can go in there and get apps there this is an alternative method to get other apps that aren't in that store so I'm going to install and we're going to hit open and now you have downloader just hit OK and in this box right here is where you're gonna put in a new code and there's thousands of codes some have individual movie apps some have a whole store so we're gonna type in three three seven four one and we're gonna hit go we're gonna get rid of that bottom screen keyboard by hitting arrow back and we're gonna hit go and we're gonna let it open up a store similar to file linked same premise so losing file linked is not that inconvenient you're gonna hit settings and allow unknown apps yes so you back out and you hit install it this time it will install it and the app is called APK time it's a whole store so let's hit open I'll give you some briefing on it it looks like this you can click on any category and then you got Blockada there and you can go through new apps and Film Plus is very good ad free works just like Cyberflex SD made extremely good for clearing cache on Android boxes because people don't like to do it so you open that app you run it scan it'll clean it for you and it actually works so, so these are just some apps to look through all right so we're gonna go back we're gonna hit top APKs here's BTV the modded one will be no ads so that's the one I always install because I don't like ads and here's some cinema apps there's one anyways right there and it's the newest one and it's ad free so if you download and install this one you won't get any ads but on first startup it'll ask you to update it and when you say yes it won't work so no big deal you just cancel it go about your business watch cinema it works great but if the update doesn't work don't worry about it and it's got TTV just like the other video on Troy Point they're both good versions but you want the ad free one of course and I'm gonna hit back and there's tons of categories to look through but what I'm going to look for is STB emulator. Now that you don't have a file link to go get your favorite store. So you're going to go to the top and the search bar. Hit that magnifying glass and type in STB. Really simple. Go back on your keyboard down at the bottom. Hit search and boom. There it is. So now that I accidentally back out of that, I did. I'm gonna to go to search we're gonna to go to STB I'm gonna to go to search you can use the magnifying glass again okay so here's STB so make sure your cursor over to the grunt the green shows up on the download and you're gonna hit it yes allow give it a second it's gonna give you your downloading percentage right there just take a couple seconds 
I'm in my garage on Wi-Fi, so it's a little bit slower. There it is. You're going to go to settings when that comes up. And you're going to allow, and then you're going to hit back and install it. This is how you install STB emulator for your IPTV, which I can help you with anytime. You can leave a message. I do IPTV so I can help you set it up. And I got videos on how to change the MAC address and how to put the portal URL in. So it's very easy. I'm not going to go through installing or setting it up, but that's how you do it. So I'm going to back out. And to get off this page now, you have to actually open that menu up by holding OK and hit exit to get you out. That is how you install STB emulator or any other app in that store. So, hope it helped you a little bit, and we'll talk to you later. Leave any comments, or I can help you if I can. Just send me a question. Night.